Well, hey there, folks. This is Barry's Best Hunting. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome to Southeast Louisiana, and welcome to my YouTube channel. As all of you know that have followed my channel, and those of you that may not have watched any of my videos, I always like to let everybody know this is not a how-to video. It's a how I do video. It's not a video showing you how, in this case, to catch a swarm. It's just me doing my thing. You guys don't forget if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that. Let's tell you what, it's one of the few things in life that's free, at least for now. And hit that notification bell, you'll know when I upload videos. I've got to tell you about this, this that happened yesterday. Man, I didn't have the video camera rolling. I'd pull out my phone and put some video together. Um, so it's not that exciting of a video, but it was very exciting for me. As it was one of those swarm catches that was pretty neat. Um, you know, it seems like every time you turn around, you get a different scenario with these creatures. And uh, I tell you what, they're amazing. God has given us quite uh, an insect that we are able to be stewards of. Um, he allows that, and I appreciate it, and I thank him for it. But man, they are amazing. They will surprise you at every turn. So let me start with a scenario of what happened. So but obviously this happened yesterday, so we we got to go check on it today. But what happened was I got a I got a message from a lady that worked in the front office of where I work, and uh, she knew I did bees, and she had went to this place to have some um, to you know render their services and the uh she got in there and in their waiting area were bees in the room and the lady was kind of like really we can't have this this is incredible i don't know what to do but i don't want to kill them and, and and so the lady knew who went to have the services done she uh she said well i got a, a guy at work that does bees and maybe uh, i'll mention it to them so she mentioned to my supervisor mentioned to me so i went by it at, at uh I guess after work I went by and sure enough there were bees inside this. Now this this um, place uh, they had their their officers were in a, um, a old mobile home. So there are bees inside the waiting area and they're in the lights of course you know how bees do and they're going to the windows and so I tracked them down. I went outside and looked and I saw bees just look like at the front of a hive. So I'm thinking well they got bees in the building already but they'd only been showed up for about you know two or three days and so i said well let me go take a look so i go inside and when i looked under by the way when i looked underneath this trailer where they were going i'm thinking i'm going to see some comb built up in the joist but i didn't i just see bees walking bunches of them now bunches probably you know 100 200 300 bees walking and flying and doing their thing and walking inside these these joists where in a trailer you know they pulled that moisture barrier down so they're looking in the joists i'm looking up there and I'm, where are they going they're just walking around they haven't built anything yet but they're looking to go down there but then i look further and i see some holes drilled in there i'm like okay so i go inside and i track down about where this is at and they're coming in under a sink in one of those little portable cabinets you can buy like it big box stores, Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, whatever. You, you got these, in, you know, you just put this cabinet up against the wall, nail it to the wall, drill some holes into the wall, run your pipes up, put a sink in it, boom, you got a, a vanity. Well, they're coming in where the cold and hot water are. There's two sets of cold, hot water, cold and hot water pipes coming in and little face plates back there, and I see bees coming out. And as I'm looking in here, they're going to the light. So I said, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn off the light. Can you turn off the light in your waiting room? She's like, yeah, we can turn it off. She turns it off. We crack the window, pull the shades back, and sure enough, all the bees, you know, they go to the light. They're going to go out. I've seen a scenario like this before at work to where they were coming in under a staircase, a metal staircase on a brick wall, going in a hole, going in the floor joist, going up a wall, and then coming out in the ceiling 30 feet down the hallway. They didn't build anything. What they were doing was coming in, and I guess the site, the scouts must have lied to them. That's all I can think. Because they were looking to build a swarm, a new colony. It was looking to establish a new home there and they didn't they decided to come down down the hallway well this was what this was looking like they're going in these holes that and you could tell these holes were drilled up into the floor you know in between the wall and you know mobile home walls aren't that thick so they were going up there they didn't seem like the right side space for them necessarily not that they won't build in that they will 
but they seem like they'd prefer the joists. Anyway, they were going up in there and coming out. Just a few coming out, maybe 30 or 40 in our waiting room. So they were going in and out of that wall and then coming out and then getting stuck. So it didn't look like they were established yet. So I'm thinking, we got a bunch of scouts. A swarm is trying to move in and we got a bunch of scouts. Or we got a colony that's built in there. And it's just now established and it's not that big. So I tell, I tell the lady, look, I'm going to come back with some repellent tomorrow. Spray it in here under the sink so we can at least maybe push them back in there and at least keep them out of your waiting room and we can deal with the colony later because I'm like this is not going to be good so I went ahead and took a box of five drawn old comb frames stuck them in there took some swarm commander because it was easy I had it I, I shot a shot on top of the frames in the back of the box and one on the entrance shut the lid strapped it up tried to stick it up as close to where the bees were coming into that mobile home as I could or that office complex now and uh see if maybe they'd at least if it was a bunch of scouts maybe they'd check out the box if it was a colony i knew they weren't going to go down that box no matter what because they were already in there so we didn't know what we had didn't know what i was going to do so i said look i'll come back tomorrow after work i'll shoot some repellent in there at least can keep them out of your waiting space and at this point with the light off now it wasn't too dark people could wait and the bees were gone so here's what happened this is the video i shot on my iphone because i didn't have this gopro with me to set up and to watch and to go and to point in the show. But here's what happened. In this trailer, and I put this box down here yesterday to try and keep them out of this trailer. I just put some repellent in the wall because they're going up in the wall investigating. But it seems they like my box now. Here they come, here they are. They're all over me. And I don't have my regular camera, but you can see them. There they go. There they are. Here they come. Let's see. Well, good. I think we got them out of the trailer. Good. Just in time. I pulled, I just lifted that box and was getting ready to go back to work and I seen the bees out the window. The grace of God. And as soon as I seen them out the window, I ran and put the box back real quick and sure enough, they went right to it. So they must have been scouting. Look, some of them are carrying pollen. Sorry, it's on my phone, guys. I don't know. I'll tell you last minute. I go for in the car. There's the queen right there. There she is. I just went down that little pipe. Get her. A little cager. Just saw her. Just saw her. I think that's her going in. Nope. Where did she go? She went down in here. I hope not.
once I get her in, I'm shutting that queen excluder side of it. I think she's in. All right, here's where we're at. Literally, this took about 10 minutes, but I'm late for going back to work, so I had to call real quick to shut the camera off. And I don't know how much space I got on this phone, but they were going in here. Here's the story. They were going in there, and there's some holes going up into the wall, and they were investigating. And I thought it could be scout bees because they weren't, like, coming and going, but there was hundreds of them. But they were all checking it out. You know, that's normally the sign that swarms are going to move in. Well, they were closing yesterday, so I couldn't stay. And I didn't have any repellent. The bees were getting inside through the plumbing work. So I didn't have any repellent with me. So I said, I'll come back today, put some repellent in there, keep them out of your waiting room. We herded them out of the window. And I set this box up last night. The bees weren't touching it at all when I was here. Come back and like one bee was crawling around. The rest were right back up in here. And I'll show you what we got. The holes and everything. That's got to be sealed. I don't know if you can see because I can't get out of there. It's wet. Told them to seal up the holes. If they had to, push comes to shove. It's just what had to get done. Well, I turn around and come out here. I put my box in the trunk. I'm going to get her a card to call me if there's any more development. Let them know, look, I think they, they're bound to turn to moving that wall unless you can seal it soon or they've already moved in. I look out the window while I'm waiting for her to come back to the desk and I see a swarm in the air and I'm like, okay, that repellent did not run them out of that wall. I squirted a little bit into the plumbing cracks surely that didn't run a hive out that swarm is moving in they were scouts and that that swarm is moving in i come out here and sure enough they're heading to the box and you saw the rest now how many are still scouting out that hole who knows it could be a second swarm it's happened but i did spot the queen she went down into this pipe now she's obviously come back up because they're in there and I'm going to go to the Queen Exclusions site without squishing these ladies. Come on. And there we go. All right, I'm going to go tell them what's going on. So what are we doing today? We need to go check on that thing and see what it's, what it's doing because I've still got the Queen Excluder setting on it. Let's go out on this super windy day and see what we got. i got to see what's happening. Oh, it's a rabbit. Look at this rabbit. I think he's checking out the bees. I got about four of them. One lives under my bush hog. There he goes. He was checking out the bees. So there's our nuke. We got the queen excluder entrance on. And uh, we're going to open it up. See if they need a frame of foundation system at Junkie Comb. There they are. Not very big. They're already clustering up, it looks like. We gotta give them some decent comb. This was just comb to draw them in. It's old, old black comb with mildewed pollen. So guys, I'm gonna tell you what this looks like to me. Now I've had this happen, where I've caught a swarm and got it into a box. And they did just this. They clustered up just like that in rows. Just like they do when they're hanging on a tree. Waiting to go to their new destination. And that's almost what it looks like. And I've had that swarm leave the next day after I released the queen. But this looks like they're still hanging in a tree. Uh, they're not festooning. They're not working on comb. So... What I'm probably going to do, yeah, yeah. Let's see if they're working on this other frame. Because I'm getting some festooning here, so that's good. But they could just be clustering. Yes, this looks just like a clustering tree. I had lined up. And I've seen them leave. But they do look like they're working on this comb a little bit. But when they do this, it's hard to find the queen sometimes because she's piled up in there. I don't think they're settled. So what I have to do is I'm going to leave the queen entrance closed I mean the excluder entrance closed to keep her in let me look on the other side 
Yeah, they're they're in a cluster. And it is not that cold. I mean, oh, see how they're still doing their they ain't been foraging enough to be waggling. They're they're uh they're still in the hanging in the tree mode, I believe. Well, that's just my thoughts. So what I'm gonna do Yeah. Yeah. They're hanging in a tree mode. Which means they're still loaded with honey inside their guts. And we're going to give them a frame of brood. That, that'll hold a colony in usually. Well, almost every time since I've been doing it. This one here has just got a bunch of young brood. It's got some milk brood, some larvae, uh, some cat brood, and some nectar, and some pollen. So it's kind of spotty because there's pollen mixed in. And that's what we're going to give them. Her other frame is solid, so I left that one in there because they'll need the numbers. It's two solid sides, but I figure this one's got a little bit of nectar. Just a little bit of something here and there. But this should hold them. I want to get it in while it's cool. And uh, let's get them settled in. That'll, um, brood will hold them, especially if you got eggs and larvae. That really holds them in there. Cat brood is fine, too. Um, in my experience, I've noticed it's okay, but... Uh, you really want some young brood. They like that And I've actually taken a frame like that the very second time one of the first swarms I ever caught was in a pine tree They like the pine tree it was hanging low it, But I had to put a ladder in a truck and on top of that ladder I put a box and I put one frame of brood with young brood and cat brood in there and then Put it so that the branch laid on top of it. I didn't even shake them or anything I just let them walk right in on that brood so uh, I learned real quick then that brood is key if you've got it nearby. I have figured out that that works. Now look how they've already started clustering and festooning again. I'm telling you these bees aren't settled. And this is See this has got pollen and if you look there's larvae. And on the other side right there is some small itty bitty brood. So we've got all stages. Got a little bit of nectar. Not enough to really do anything. Yeah that's a, that's a clustered hive. I mean like that's clustered for like flight. I just dropped them right down in there. Look at them. Wow. Yeah, this is a this is a swarm still waiting to swarm Let's See if we can we don't want to crush them especially if we know the queen is in there So we'll give them this brood and what I hope is is that they'll, they'll Get on this brood, but see they haven't even they, they're not even cleaning this up. This is an old pollen frame They're not doing anything we're gonna have to rearrange frames and give them a better set of frames, but let's get them in here. That brood should hold them. All right, so from the same resource hive, I went ahead and it's got a little bit of pollen. It's got some fresh nectar, a spot of honey there, and a spot of honey there. It's not much, I understand, but it's a uh, um, it's better than what they had. And they're not gonna need a ton right now because they should have carried a bunch with them. But I have seen this scenario before and I've watched them leave on me. I haven't had a lot of swarms that leave because I like to put brood in them. But I remember one, I can't remember what, I want to say it was the one that I caught two times and finally let go or something. I don't remember, but same exact thing. What I saw was a cluster. And when I just shook these off that frame, they just went in one big lump. Look, they've already jumped on, they're already moving. Look how they're moving now. See, now they're moving. Now they're moving around in there. See the difference? And, and, and when I shook them, they were just a big old lump of bees that fell off, just like a cluster of, of, of on a swarm branch. The only difference is they didn't fly everywhere, and I think that's just because it's cool. Let's get the lid on them, but look how they're moving now. See how they're... Oh, man, I cracked my lid. See how they're attacking that... Not attacking, but you see, jumping on it. Now they're lively. So hopefully... That'll encourage them. I could probably open the queen excluder, but I'm going to leave it one more day. It's not going to hurt. All right, so you saw what I saw. Again, I've seen that scenario before. Only one other time, and it and it baffled me the first time I saw it. And uh, I, I remember being on that stand right there. Anyway, I saw it, and I'm thinking, these bees, they're doing nothing. They're just laid up, no different than when they're hanging from the tree. You know, doing a little waggle dance here and there. Uh, sending scouts out 
and that's what that looked like um, you know makes you wonder why they moved in the box uh, maybe they they're not in the same area and they know that I don't know what I know is when they're just a lump on a log like that and they're not doing nothing but clustering it's it's they're still in that mode so giving them that brood should clear that up you saw they started moving when I shook them they fell off in a lump um, and, just lay, and they would just cluster right back up with each other um, glad we went out there and did that went ahead and got them some brood got a little bit of honey but look swarms travel gorged on honey so they should be fine and we'll go from there hey guys I'm out here doing inspections this afternoon uh, going through all my hives I wanted to show you this nuke this is the next day this is that swarm that I did the video on and it was clustered in in the same mode that you see them hanging in a tree just all lined up perfectly and I've told you that I had that before and I've watched them take right back off they weren't they weren't actually settled they basically went into a box and hung out there I, or I didn't like it or whatever whatever reason it was but I put that brood frame in there and let's see what they did I already peeked in here I know what they did but let me show you I'll show you how they got active all of a sudden when they had that brood instead of just being sitting there they all of a sudden started moving around and attending to that brood well look at this and I haven't I haven't pulled the frames or opened the front but I have opened the top check it out see how they're all spread out now totally different look to them full of nectar the whole thing is full of nectar or wherever they could put it some of it's not because it's got old pollen that they're tearing down already so see just getting that brood in there made a world of difference for them now they got to clean all this old moldy brood out but they'll, they'll have that cleaned out in no time there you go so let me tell you what actually happened with that swarm after I got there so I went back the next day to put the repellent inside the wall and I went outside and looked and there was like one bee on my box the rest were still coming and going in that joist about a foot higher they were just going and going and I looked in there and sure enough there still was no deliberate coming and going right, you know what I mean um, but there were a lot of bees going in and out of them holes I didn't see pollen coming in so anyway I took the box put it in my car went inside said hey your bees are still there they're stuck in your wall it hadn't been established long so I sprayed the repellent down beside the pipes behind the back plates and then I found an electrical hole where it was going down that wall and I just poured that stuff in there and shot it real good and heavy in there good almond smell shut the cabinet there were hardly any bees coming in anymore um, they had the lights on no problems at this point so again and there weren't like oh, tons of bees it, it, it was either scouts or a very small colony I thought that's what I was thinking didn't know so I go back to tell the lady I'm finished and she's not there I'm waiting I look out the window to see if the screen is still down on the ground because I had pulled the screen out one reminder put the screen back in when you're done and I look in the sky and there is a massive cloud of bees wasn't too massive obviously but um, they're also clustered pretty tightly but uh, you know obviously it's not a big one but it was a big cluster of bees in the sky I'm like oh my goodness the swarm is coming and I'm thinking they're coming to get in that wall that was all scouts are coming to get in that wall so I run outside and I look around and I look down and they're not trying to go in the joist they're going down where the box used to be and they're flying in circles and they can't find the box so I dart back to my car don't have the camera of course and I go get the box I plop it down there and I'm telling you BAM there they were and the video shows that so I know the Queen went in after she was in I shut that gate so I've got her in there um, they're in there and again they're clustered like they're hanging on a tree they're not clustered like they're cold I've seen that before and that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing a just a cluster just sitting there mm, waiting to go and uh, the last time that happened they definitely took out <laughs> so the brood hopefully will hold them that's our hope we got to take you along and take a look at what we got there Guys, I appreciate all y'all coming along. I appreciate y'all watching the videos. Don't forget, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Help that channel get out there to those people that are searching for bee videos. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to share this video with your friends, your family, anybody that just enjoys watching bees. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. You guys have a wonderful evening. May God bless you. See y'all later.